Hello and welcome to this my first video for TowerGraphics.com. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you my my new toy. Uh, it's the Rotring Isograph pen. It's a technical pen, uh, the sort that was used by um, architects and uh, designers. Um, these uh, fairly commonly used um, before the, the real, uh, before uh, computer aided design uh, really took off and, and changed the way uh, designers and architects uh, uh, work. Um, but a lot of people uh, still use these kind of pens and, and really enjoy um, enjoy using them and get some really great results. So the reason why I became interested in in buying this pen was after having a look at this book here. It's called uh, Sketching from the Imagination um, and it's basically a whole series of um, little excerpts from a um, little almost, uh, snapshots into different uh, artists and uh, concept designers um, sketchbooks really so you can um, I just became fascinated by the, the, the intricacies in in their work and and the great way that um, different artists use use lines to to create their work and it's something that I think that I, I really need to work on myself um, I, th I think I'll, I'll do a review, a proper review of this book on my website towergraphics.com in the near future. Um, but as I say, I think it's something that I really want to, to work on in, in my designing uh, and a lot of what I've been doing has been using, um, have been, have been, has been using uh, computer programs like GIMP or Inkscape to do my design work. Uh, it has its advantages but then um, you don't have that freedom of, of being able to take a sketchbook anywhere to do your work. So, to business. This this was the package I got. Actually, the, I, I've, I I got really excited and, and I I opened it when I when I went to pick it up. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I was excited and also curious about how they could they said they could fit, fit a gift box pen inside such a such a small package. Uh, I got it from Amazon. Uh, but they're they're also available from people like Colt Pens. Uh, I, I do tend to buy a lot of things from Colt Pens, but was was desperate to get my hands on this one, so um, I went ahead and, and ordered it from Amazon. Uh, so I've got the pen. the The pen comes, well, they say gift boxed. Um, there you can see it. It almost looks like a, a little. Toad in the own box, uh, sort of prism shaped box. That's the pen there, and I also got a bottle of the the ink, the the Rotrin drawing ink. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look at the pen. And just uh, you can see it's uh, designed and assembled in Germany. I think and the inside of this this cardboard sleeve. That's that's just the pen there. Um, you get a little information leaflet, um, and then also just some information about about the company Rotring, um, talking about the uh, the influence of, of Bauhaus design in in this pen. It's des designed uh, in Germany. Uh, so there we go. It's the the Rotring Isograph. I bought it in. Uh, the 0.4 line width. I, I do have a tendency to to press quite hard when I uh, when I do my work, which is again something I want to want to improve upon. Um, but it's it's also available in as they say 13 13 different line widths uh, from I think point, uh, point 0.18 of a millimeter, which is tiny. Uh, it's interesting the, the little leaflet uh, there's a little um, a little hint of the the modern era it's saying don't use it on your uh, don't use it on your tablet 
because it's just so fine. Right, let's take a look at the pen itself. Um, it's quite a, a nice size and weight, although it, it doesn't have any ink in it at the moment. Um, the cap is, is a screw off cap, which is quite nice actually, because it won't pop off in your pocket, for example. Uh, and there, I don't know if you can quite you can quite see it, but that is the the size of the um, the size of the nib. It's absolutely tiny. Now, what it it feels like is one of those those little gold or silver ink pens that you used to get, or, or, or a paint marker. If you if you've ever tried a uni uh, uni paint marker, you can you can hear something rattling in there, um, and that's the way the mechanism works. It has a little uh, weighted, uh, almost like a needle on a weighted wire which gets pushed up and down when you're writing and that's how the ink flows from it. So let's uh, see how we load it. Let's take a look at the ink. So this is the bottle of ink. Um, there's different brands of ink other than other than rotary ink itself but uh, I chose to, to get the full package. Huh? Let's take a look at the pen and if we unscrew it uh, the there is the rotating uh, rapidograph as well, which comes with which comes with cartridges. But I chose the the isograph version, which is refillable. Um, I don't like throwing away cartridges. That's my my the eco friendliness in me. But there we go. So that's the the sort of the business end of the pen, and this is how we how we refill it. Um, I think the easiest way to have a look at it is, is when it's completely empty like this. Um, you can see the way this cartridge is attached to uh, to the nib section there. And and this just uh, almost unscrews like that. It, it's not actually got a screw thread. It's, ve it's a very tight push fit um, around the, the nib section. And if you have a look at that there, um, it's just got, I, I've had a look at the official video, which is quite amusing actually. The, the lady in it has got a giant version of the pen, which is quite nice to, to, uh, to demonstrate on. But you can see uh, from, the, from the bottom of the ink cartridge, that, at that end there, there is a, a line running near to the top of the, uh, top of the cartridge. Um, and, and that's the level at which you, you fill it. And if you connect the cartridge back to the nib section, you can see that that line meets up to the, the, the sort of innermost portion of the, the nib section there. So you won't get any ink spilling out if you fill up to that point there. Uh, the official video says that um, if you underfill it, you'll get air bubbles in, in, inside the, 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 the nib or the, the the, the, the flow um, and that can can affect um, when you're writing with it. So let's go ahead and fill it up and give it a go. So we'll just open up the ink bottle here and we will carefully squeeze out some of this ink till we reach that reach that fill line there. Okay. That's it. And then we'll just simply uh, simply reconnect the, the nib to the, the filled cartridge just make sure it's nice and tight yeah. and then screw screw the barrel back onto the pen um, we'll pop the lid back back on the bottom I think and let's give it a go uh, they say I think you should shake it just to just to get the ink to flow And there we go. It's a beautiful constant line width that you can you can see. I think it, it's something that they say takes a bit of getting used to because we're all, all used to perhaps holding a pen at a certain angle to the paper. Uh, it does work that way as well. But they say that to get the best results you should almost hold it um, almost hold it perpendicular to the paper. It has a scratchy feel to it, which is, is quite nice actually. Um, very very nice. Look at that. 
and that constant line width is is what was what was so highly prized by uh, architects. But I can see that you can get get some really nice hatching going on there. To add detail to to your work. Um, just as a contrast, I've got the uh, a, a Pilot uh, Petit uh, Fude brush pen, just so you can you can see the difference there. This is a very nice pen as well. Actually, it's it's beautiful to have a brush pen in such a small in, in such a small package. Um, but you can see that 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 has has a lot more variation in in the line that you can achieve. You can get quite a fine line from it, or if you hold it to the side, quite a th quite a thick, broad, a broad stroke. Um, whereas with the with the rotoring. Uh, it's quite a fine, it's a fine line, 0.4 millimeter uh, pen, uh, 0.4 millimeter line width. Uh, but there you have it. Um, they do say that these these pens need a fair bit of, of careful maintenance, um, so that's something that I, I might touch upon in a future video. So stay tuned. I'll hopefully be be reviewing um, sketching from the imagination as well uh, and showing you some hints and tips in using the uh, rotring isograph pen thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed my video uh, share your comments uh, below and check out my website at taugraphics.com for more uh, in, uh, interesting articles inspiration and tutorials uh, thanks again and hope you have a good day.